The hearing of the constitutional petition at the High Court premises in Imbali entered the second day. The lawyers of the petitioners presented evidence. The argued indicates that Parliament acted unconstitutionally in removing the presidential age limit and extending the term of office of MPs and the local government leaders from five to seven years. On the record of my petition, Council James Biamukama, who represents one prosper of Sinje, argued that the term extension contravened Article 77 Clause 4 of the Constitution, which stipulates that MPs can only extend their term of office in case of a state of emergency or war. The extension should not exceed six months. I beg court to take judicial notes that there is no state of emergency in Uganda. Nor is there a state of war. And even if there was, the maximum time allowed for a sitting parliament to extend its life, its life is six months, not exceeding six months. Not two years. Biamukam also told court that the MPs did not consult Ugandans on the same matter. However, the justices challenged him to explain whether it would have been illegal if MPs had consulted and later voted contrary to the wishes of the voters. I've seen your pleadings. I've seen all those things. There were no consultations. But if there were consultations and everyone in the constituency said we don't want to extend parliament, would it be illegal for a member of parliament to vote the way he wishes? And this is not a delegate. If the Constitution wants the people to speak themselves, isn't there provision for that? That's for one for. Referendum? Referendum. referendum. It's so loud and... Is that, is that the one on referendum? No, the, the democracy. That the people have a right to choose who, and how. Another lawyer, Elias Rukwago, who represents a group of aggrieved MPs, also argued that the extension was unlawful since it was not an issue that was considered by the Parliamentary Legal Affairs Committee that considered the bill. Lukwago added that it even contravened principles of natural justice for MPs to legislate on the matter that directly affected them, akin to a monkey deciding whether the forest should be burnt. I thought that the bill would evolve until it reaches a point where it is, it is voted to an act of parliament. It should have been an integral part of the bill. And the requirement is that it should be published in the Gazette. So the evolution, there, is a, there are procedural requirements here about evolution. If you have an amendment, you take it to the committee and it is subjected to that process where there is an element of participation of the people. The main thrust of Rukwago's argument was on the basic structure doctrine of the Constitution. He submitted that when the MPs amended some clauses of the Constitution, the action significantly affected other clauses of the Constitution. The amendment power does not extend to the replacement of the Constitution with a different one. Procedure and circumstance are thus related since when the amending power substitutes the Constitution, it acts at requires. It's only the constituent power because of the people acting through extraordinary mechanisms such as constitutional assembly, which can constitute a new constitution. Other two lawyers, Lester Kaganzi and Male Mabirizi, also tabled more evidence to support their cases. Mabirizi represents himself. Parliament did calibre legislation for Articles 1 and 2, and actually look at the hands that it amended Article 260 directly without separating the two sittings of Parliament with 14 sitting days of Parliament and without referring the matter to referendum before they are sent. Court did not sit after the lunch break since both the petitioners and the respondents asked for more time to prepare themselves. After today's adjournment, the petitioners are expected tomorrow to finalize their submission on this one issue of extending the term of office for members of parliament and also the local leaders. In the afternoon, the government side is expected to submit its defense. Habad Ziwa, NTV, Mbale.